So if you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll have seen I've already done a video where we've talked about cuttings and I used these plants, which are Nemesia. And then I said that the reason I was taking those cuttings is A, because I wanted free plants, but also because I needed to pot them on from these tiny little pots where they were getting root bound. And I'm going to put them in here. So that's what I'm going to show you today. So these are five inch pots. I've also shown you a video with my compost mix and I'll put both of these videos down in the description so that you can go check those out. Now, as you can see, this one has already bounced back really well and is sending out more flower shoots. And so once I've put them into these pots, I'm gonna tip those out again because I want them to concentrate on rooting down. Now, all we're gonna do to get these out of here is put our fingers either side and gently squeeze around. Now, I have watered these, but there's so much root in here and these plants are so big that I would suspect that they're actually quite dry. Blimey. Now that's what you call pot bound or root bound. Actually that is wetter than I expected it to be. Now there are people that will advocate disturbing those roots or even cutting, slicing through the whole thing. But I'm not going to do that. And the reason being is, if I can get this to focus in, these roots are very fragile and they will actually start to grow out by themselves because this compost is very nutrient dense. And so they'll search out for those nutrients because it's these fine roots that are the ones that take up the water and the nutrients. The thicker roots are like the highway that transport it to the plant. And so all we're gonna do is put that in there. And you might wonder, how did I know to have that at the right depth already. Well, it's quite simple. If I pull that out of there, I just use the pot and push the pot down into there. And so that goes down. Now, I've got some other plants to show you. I needed to do a seed viability test and they were gonna be perfect to show you a different thing that you can do with some plants because you can't bury all plants. Some plants you have to be really really careful like strawberries. Anything that has a crown cannot be buried below the soil so you really must take care with them. Now I'm just making sure that I've got enough compost around the top of here because when you water these in, you don't want any air pockets around them. You also want to make sure that the pot you choose is suitable. So as you can see, I've got a five inch pot for these, having gone up from these tiny little ones. Now, you wouldn't want to choose something that's too big. A, because it's uneconomical on the compost. It would take too much water and that water would actually leach out all the um, nutrients that's in that compost before the roots get there as well. Not only that, but that amount of water that's in that compost can make it too boggy and it can actually cause your root system to rot. So it's better to go up in small increments. So <laughs> there we have our Nemesia and they're all potted on. So the other thing that I wanted to show you is something else that I've done. Now, I have got these smaller pots and again they're filled with the compost and all I'm going to do is use my thumb to stick down a hole and I'm going to do that hole quite deep and you might be surprised considering the plants that are going to go in there not if you're a seasoned gardener but if you're new to this you might be if you watched the compost video you'll have seen these gorgeous healthy plants but if I left them in here they wouldn't stay healthy for much longer in fact 
Really, they've been in here too long already and it's only the quality of my compost that's kept them this healthy. Now, as you can see, they're getting what's called leggy and I've left them like this on purpose to show you something that you can do. These are actually tomato plants and normally I actually wouldn't do this. I don't multi-sow as a normal thing. I actually individually sow. But I was doing a seed viability test. These are the Bradgate's Mini Mazzano. They were new last year and I grew them out and they're absolutely gorgeous. So I saved my own seed. This is them here. There you go. And so this was a seed viability test to see if they'd actually grow out. And as you can see, they absolutely have. I think every single one of them has germinated. So what I'm gonna do now is show you something we call pricking out. Now, if you're in a bigger tray, you can use a dibber or a pen or just something to poke them out individually. I don't have that dexterity to do that without damaging the plants. So I'm just gonna do what I did before. The noise and scraping you can hear in the background is my little dog because she doesn't understand why I'm talking to myself. She's in a crate because otherwise she'd be round my feet knocking over my tripod. So here we go and you can see that the roots are already down to the bottom. Now, the thing about some plants is that they really don't like their roots being disturbed, but the great thing about tomatoes is they really don't care. So what we can do is very, very gently start to pull these apart. And this is when you'll realize just how leggy these have got. Doesn't matter if some of the roots come off because of what we're going to do with these. I would have liked this, this is where I would have liked the compost to have been a little bit drier, actually. So these have all been competing with each other for light. If I use this one for speed, so I can show you now. Those two long leaves, these ones, they're the first leaves, the cotyledons. And then these ones, they're the true leaves. So they haven't got so leggy just yet that we're gonna take those off. At least I'm not gonna take them off because I stand risking taking the whole plant out and killing it. But if these were super leggy and had got really tall, we can actually plant these past those. If you remember when I took the other cuttings, I spoke about how roots come out. Now the thing about tomatoes is that they will root anywhere. If there's a lot of moisture in your air, you will see the root nodes. That's not the hairs, by the way, on, the, on tomato plants. The hairs on the tomato plants are something completely different but the root nodes are everywhere on these and they will send those out into the air as well. So what we're gonna do is, you can handle these by that leaf, even me, and we're just gonna stick that right down in that deep hole. Give that a little pinch and push down, making sure not to break it, which is something that is a possibility with me. And there, so now that is a proper seedling transplanted into its pot. And I will have plenty of these. This, by the way, it's called Mini Mazzano. It's like a miniature plum. So it is a micro dwarf, but it is prolific. It produces loads of them. I will insert some photos. It's absolutely gorgeous. I dried these as well. I absolutely love this. I'm not a raw tomato fan, but I have to say, uh, again, in no way affiliated to Brad Gates, but his tomatoes are indeed my favorites so far. I grow his uh, Barry's Crazy Cherry every year. It's the number one on our list, and now this one too. So I'm very happy to have this. It grows outside. I trialed it last year in the house, in pots, in ground, 
and uh, <laughs> it was left in my cold frame completely and utterly neglected along with a couple of his others and uh, as a tomato developer Brad Germain he's in America but um, these grow prolifically for me here in the UK so that's that and uh, I shall get on and get the rest of these potted up but don't forget if you have something like rhubarb and strawberries that have a crown they must be above the ground so that uh, those crowns don't rot out. So I hope you found this quick video useful. I hope you'll give it a try and uh, this will work with your house plants. And also potting on isn't just about transplanting plants. There are some that you can split and so give yourself more plants that way too. And uh, even just refreshing your compost that's in your house plants or your pots that are outside. So. I hope you'll come back. I hope you'll give this a like, subscribe, share. Don't forget to hit that bell because then you'll get notifications for other videos that I upload. Hope to see you next time. Bye for now.